What's going on guys? The Aaron Lord is here. Welcome back to another Fear the Walking Dead Season 5 review vlog. This one is for Episode 7, entitled Still Standing. And who's ready for another bottle episode now? Um, I guess some pretty consequential things happen in this episode. Um, I'll spare you the rant that I had for last week's The, the Little Prince uh, episode. Um, which kind of had me frustrated because it was my first realization that the helicopter group would not be the focus. Instead, this nuclear power plant meltdown is instead the focus. Uh, the little kids are not the villains either. They're just scared and helpless. And Alicia, as we see in this episode, at all costs tries to bring them back into the fray so that they can leave on the plane. Um, this episode is similar to last week's, where we have these characters uh, windowed off. <clears throat> we have the revelation with Dwight and the letter that John Dory found in the previous episode, which, I, I mean, talk about a plot that went absolutely nowhere. I, I kind of knew that the actress who played Sherry was not going to return to the show. Now, maybe they could do something cool where Sherry comes back like maybe Dwight's maybe in order to find Sherry Dwight has to not be looking for her so maybe as he's helping John he's trying to help with the plane maybe he flies uh, they fly somewhere else maybe he in some t some point in season five he bumps into her and he did it because he was doing it for the right reasons because he's trying to help people as Sherry said in the letter and as he was told by Daryl before he was exiled so I think there's still potential that there could be something with that. It just it seemed to wrap up as soon as it started because Dwight was introduced in what episode three. You had like one or two episodes of him and John me meandering around trying to find her, trying to find clues. You had the letter, and then in the previous episode, and then John gives it to Dwight. Dwight wasn't even mad. He was just like, yeah, I kind of expected that. Like, <laughs> he had been on this wild goose chase for so long. It's almost like he expected Sherry to just say, yeah, you know what? I don't want you to find me. So, uh, but seems kind of like a dick move for her to leave that many freaking clues. I just don't understand why. I mean, she could have just left a note at the Virginia house and just said, yeah, the scene, like, why did, the letter that she left in that freaking car that John found, why didn't she just leave that letter in the, uh, like, their Virginia house, instead of him having to freaking go all the way across Texas to find it in some random piece of shit car, like, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, either Sherry is freaking Mysterio, or she's with a group of people who have way more elaborate means of setting notes and plans and traps than any normal person would i just the, the amount of resourcefulness this one woman has seemingly on her own we don't know if that's true or not again maybe she escaped with some other saviors or she's with some other group or whatever but as far as we know she's alone so so that plot, again, left up in the air. Uh, you had Charlie and Strand trying to survive after they crash landed in that stupid freaking hot air balloon. Uh, Morgan grabs a hazmat suit from the contaminated zone, helps them out. They go back to the plane. Morgan sees some clues about Grace. Grace is the, is the scientist woman who's trying to stop this whole meltdown. He bumps into her, he f sees her old home, like where she, like the housing that they had for the scientists in the nuclear facility, and he sees different clues and hints that she had a life that was worth fighting for, and she, he, he makes a connection with her, saying that they're kind of in a similar spot where they want to help people, but at the same time, they, they're like disregarding their own life. And he makes this point to Alicia because Alicia and, and, and Morgan are in the same kind of character spot where they just want to help people no matter the risk, whereas it can have devastating effects to themselves. As we see with Alicia, she is not letting these kids stay in this freaking tree house that they have surrounded by these zombie gut monsters in the woods. And, I mean, you know, for one reason or another, be it plot convenience, they spring loose from the frickage, the, 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 the guts that they were tied down with. 
they get loose, and Alicia, one man army with her sword thing, whatever the heck it is, crowbar, has to take them all out, and they make it very, very clear that she got infected by one of the radiation zombies. The, she gets tackled by it, she flips it over, she stabs it in the head, and then the, her weapon gets like stuck in its skull. She rips it out, and the blood... Like, they have a close-up slow motion, the sound kind of dampens. They really emphasize the fact that this blood, like, most likely got inside of her unless she spit it out or wiped it away. At the end of the episode, she goes to a creek and just wipes the blood away. But there were two interesting moments that I noticed when Annie uh, um, radios Alicia and asks if she's okay. Alicia doesn't answer. And then at the end of the episode where M Morgan does the same thing, he radios her and asks if she's okay, and she hesitates, and then she says that she's okay. So, but as the audience, we know that there's a very high likelihood that she's not, and that she could potentially die, so we might have... <laughs> If any, if any indication, the mid-season finale of season four, we saw Madison, who was, in everyone's mind, the main character of the series. We saw her death. And now it looks like we might... This is the last... One of, probably one of the last original cast members from the original, original show. And if they kill Alicia off, it's just going to be Morgan in the group. Like, I don't know what your focus was in the long term for Fear the Walking Dead. I really don't. Um, it, it, it's, yeah, I, I have no idea because it seems like they really want you to believe she's going to die. And are we going to see signs of her being really sick in the next episode? And then someone will just put her out of her misery and they'll have this long, prolonged goodbye and kind of like what they did for Carl in The Walking Dead where they have this long drawn out goodbye and they reconcile and they talk about shit and... I don't know, because, and it's also tragic, because Morgan, when he's talking to Alicia on the radio at the end, he's talking about how he's learned this lesson that you don't have to sacrifice your own being in order to help people. Like, you could still help people and still help yourself, but Morgan, when conversing with Grace, realized that he was maybe suppressing parts of himself and maybe just putting himself at risk. Kind of like Abraham. Abraham was kind of throwing himself, like go, like 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 uh, throwing um, fate to the wind, and Sasha calls him out on it back in season six. I'm seeing similarities where Morgan has this "all life is precious," but he's willing to just let himself die or fade. Like basically, like his life is over. You know, he lost his wife and son. Similar to Alicia, she lost her brother and mother. Like like they, they've lo they've lost so much. It's like they can't come back as people. But Morgan, at the end of this episode, says, no, I think we, I think there's a potential that we can come back. But if Alicia's going to die because of the radiation, she that's obviously, like, even if she wants to live, that means that she can't. Because, obviously, if she's dead. So, um, we'll have to see. I don't know. Again, the show made it clear. Like, they showed the walker with the radiation spore. They showed Alicia stab it and then the blood fly out and get into her mouth like it like they may it's not like it's not like when carl got bit i'll say that when carl got bit in season eight they didn't really make it clear at first when he got bit in episode six like i didn't even notice that he got bit they had to then confirm it in episodes eight and nine exactly what happened so th this is different like they really made an emphasis in this episode that this happened to Alicia. So, uh, I don't know. Like, I saw some people saying they would stop watching the show if she died. Honestly, like, it's not like her presence was really driving the the, the, the show for me. Uh, the exterior plots, again, the freaking helicopter group that I was so excited for in previous vlogs. And they only addressed it in one episode. And, I, you know, yeah, I guess Althea found some extra helicopter fuel because she knew about it and now they're going to use that fuel for the plane but i just it's just such minute stuff that we just don't care about like i i went on a very long rant in last week's vlog and 
I'm going to try not to repeat that, but I just, I don't understand why they went this direction where, you know, you have, there's no villain of this season. And I guess Logan, the guy that took over that freaking, uh, that dam, that power plant, the water power plant, he's going to come back. But like, why? Who gives, he hasn't been in this season at all. He was in the first episode saying that he took over his power plant. And then in the final episode, like, he hasn't been in this season. The radiation, Grace, the freaking helicopter group, which they teased, and no, the, you know, oh, no, they're not going to be here anymore. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I really don't understand. Like, they just, they had all these teasers. Like, they had the helicopter group at the end of that episode, and the kids, Annie and the kids were like, oh, the... The people, the mysterious people in the black suits, they came in that helicopter. It was the cliffhanger at the end of the first episode. Then Althea gets captured. She has an episode dedicated to it. And then nothing happens. Like, again, I know they're waiting for the Rick Grimes movies to explain what the full purpose of this group is. But I don't know why they couldn't have teased some stuff had them relate to the main plot of this freaking half of the season. Because... People thought that that's what it would be building up to, that that they would come across the helicopter group and maybe Morgan maybe crosses over into the move. Like, like there would be some payoff, some payoff. And it's just like, oh, Isabel meets Althea. They, they get into a relationship. It's a tragic relationship. And then Isabel flies away because she has to complete her duty. And uh, yeah, we'll see the helicopter group in maybe you know, the Rick Grimes movies, but most likely not in this season at all like why I, I don't understand how that's acceptable in my mind that is not acceptable i i don't know why they spent the time because like what's the focus of the season in terms of the villain you have logan at the power plant you have the freaking radiation zombies and then you have the helicopter group like the show dealt with some of it and then th trashed plot lines and like moved them to the movies and moved them to other shows and then said, no, the, right, the radiation, and then me, when the radiation's done, they escape, then Logan at the power plant, then he's gonna, like, I, I just, I don't understand why, like, I don't, I don't get the purpose, I don't understand the direction it's going, and this, I said all of this last week, and I'm bringing up more specific moments from the episode, as, because last week there really wasn't much to talk about. Nothing really happened at all, except for characters standing around trying to fix a plane. This episode, at least, you know, some things happened. You know, Morgan, you know, saved Charlie and Strand, grabbed the hazmat suit, met up with Grace. Um, Alicia saved the kids. The kids are, you know, hopefully the freaking third, fourth time's the charm. They stay with the group and don't fucking run off again. Um, and Alicia may die. I mean, there's major developments. I mean, Dwight's scrapping the... The search for Sherry, seemingly. We don't know if that's true, but it seems like it. Um, yeah, I, there's, you know, there were things that happened in this episode, so that's why I'm talking about them more than last week's, but still, I don't know what we're building towards. I don't know what the goal is. Like, I don't know what, what it's just, uh, <sighs> well, you know, anyway. <laughs> I can promise you guys another vlog this week before we get to the mid-season finale of Fear the Walking Dead because the a trailer for season 10 of The Walking Dead comes out this Friday. I don't mean to turn this into a channel announcement vlog, but I am so excited because we're going to... like I can finally breathe a little bit and be excited about something for The Walking Dead. And maybe there'll be some news on the Rick Grimes movies... And I'm going to be covering that at the end of this week, this Friday. When all of that information and news drops, I will be here covering it. And you can count on that. A hundred percent. hundred percent. I'm so excited. But right now I'm reviewing episode seven. What am I going to give episode seven? Uh, I'll give it a 7.5. How about that? Episode seven gets a 7.5. Because at least it's a moving plot. It's a slow-moving plot that I don't understand. This, the, 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 the main end goal is to escape a destination they stupidly crashed in in the first place. That's the goal of this half season of season five. That's, that's amazing. Like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, that's my review. Um, I'm really looking forward to the season 10 trailer of The Walking Dead, the original show. 
Angela Kang knocking it out of the park. This show, not so much. I had hopes because they were dropping hints about the helicopter group. And um, they talked about... What did Scott Gimple say? Didn't he say that there was a zombie in Fear the Walking Dead that was going to change the course of the show? Like, he, didn't he say that? He did say that that was the case with... Ah, what, yeah, no, Scott Gimple... Once again, lying so that we can we can boost the ratings for the for the show. I thank God that guy is off the Walking Dead, the original show, because I I, I couldn't take his molasses non payoff pace anymore. It was getting to me. So so I mean, again, next week is a mid season finale. Hopefully, we we get something tangible because it's a mid season finale. But we'll see. Y y you never know. All right, you never know. So. Um, okay. All right, guys, that's, it's about it for me. Um, signing off here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later for more content, mainly that season 10 trailer vlog and reaction, really a reaction video. This is kind of the return, the brief return of reaction videos. And that's going to start with season 10 of, uh, the walking dead. So, um, on that note, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace out.